right, my friends, it's Wednesday. We got a busy day. It's about 8 a.m. right now. So we are gonna rock into the office today. Got a couple client update calls. Got a pitch. Should be a banger, should be a fun one. Let's go. All right, so right now we are cruising to WeWork, which if you guys don't know what WeWork is, it's basically just a shared office. And the reason why I like having a WeWork office, even though our team's completely remote and I can just work in my home office every day, is sometimes I just stare at my computer and I get like nothing done. And today we've got a really exciting day. So our entire workforce are contractors and legally, like there's there's no obligation or anything for us to provide raises or rate increases. A lot of people treat online workers as like virtual assistants in the agency space or VAs. We treat them as team members. So basically giving, giving everybody in the company raises. It's kind of an internal meeting I got going on between some client updates today. So I'm just gonna take you guys along with me for that and sort of some of the stuff that we talk about. But first we gotta get some fruit, some snacks. So I know I talked about this in the last video, but I can't tell you guys like how amazing you will feel if you stop eating processed food. I don't care if you wanna go plant-based, I don't care if you wanna go carnivore diet or whatever, and you think it's a little bit more expensive because the food costs a little bit more, but I promise you, you'll actually probably end up spending less money like me because you'll actually be eating a lot less snacks. I feel so much better, I'm eating less. I'm just like shedding pounds effortlessly even though I'm full all the time. So that right there is the office. big thing for me when I show up to client update calls is even if results aren't great, uh, in this case they, they were great, if you can bring energy and excitement about their business, they're gonna enjoy working with you. Right, so that's something that I always try and do is I'm prepping for my client update calls. I look over the progress, I look over things that I can ring the bell on that are big wins from the week. But then also if, if the results aren't there, I try and have ideas. You appear confident, you say, hey, been here before, and results aren't great right now, but here's a couple things that we're gonna optimize and we're gonna try. That client is gonna be much more excited and you're gonna keep that client for longer you know, hacker summer camp next week with DEF CON. I mean, even with seasonality, like we should be seeing a higher connection percentage. I'll review it again, see if there's any other changes that I'd recommend, but those would be the big things. I'll keep in touch, I'll make these updates, and uh, yeah, more to come. Hey everybody, I was the only one showing my face, so I, I'm shy. <laughs> What do we have coming in? We've got two that are scheduled. We yep. have anything else that's in the works? We sure do. Your good friends, uh, BTL, don't show up empty-handed, you know? A couple really nice one coming through here. Samsung, and then we had that referral from Medallia. So this one is scheduled for the 22nd, and then that other one that's on the 22nd as well is specifically dealing with an OZ capital gain situation. Have your coffee, cold plunge, you know. <laughs> Bring your A game every day, Brandon. So I just wrapped up my client update calls for the morning and now we're gonna jump into our quarterly reviews for our team. So right now, just a couple members of the team, Derek, my business partner, and then one of our operations leaders are gonna basically go through team performance, talk about potential raises in their hourly rates for their contractor relationship with our agency. Right now we're just trying to offer everybody that works with us opportunities to continue growing with our company. Something that we've noticed is that it's just a lot easier to find great talent and keep them on board than to you know be churning out team members and constantly be having to train new people. Team retention, team enablement is something I'd encourage everybody to really prioritize, create a culture that people love to be a part of and they'll help you grow your business more than you could ever grow it yourself. It, it's, it's really a great idea that what, what David just said at the beginning, go to the archive section so we can yeah. congratulate him on yeah. a new position and just remind him about the services that we offer. Hey everybody. What up, Joseph? I think we just want to look over the notes, make sure we're all on the same page. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to run through these. Um, we actually have Adam scheduled for later today. The one I would count on on trainings or shadowings. If, if I have somebody shadow him, I wouldn't worry about yeah, it. For sure. So if there's nothing for him to work, but sometimes I feel like he's not as engaged on the account. So if I have to think about areas of improvement, that would be one. Yeah, one more thing. Um, when would you be available to just finished it tomorrow today. I'm free in 30. Yeah, one, one idea I had is that um, I think that we should absolutely add this to the training uh, deck that we have right here. Mm -hmm. And also maybe uh, for the BDR training that we also have, maybe also just add that to one day as you said. Uh, also, hi, David, how are you doing? Doing good, man, how are you? Oh, good, thank you. 
So yeah, I don't know. What did you guys have in mind? Like for me, I was just talking about uh, with Danielle about wanting to learn new stuff. I know that BTL does a lot of other things that we do not see, but I'm sure there are plenty of other things that we do not know about or I at least don't know about. It's been like a year and a half that I've been with BTL now. And I really want to be more useful to the company and of course I want to be more helpful and I want to do new things. Really the purpose of like the call today is really just to kind of open up that dialogue and conversation because it doesn't just come up like time for us to be able to check in and be like, hey, what are you liking? What are you not liking? Um, and then obviously the other thing we want to talk about is rates with everyone because, um, you, you know, we do want to recognize people who are doing a very good job and keep them with us. That That is our goal. Yep. Um, so that's a, the other part of the conversation as well. Like I know that when Adam's on a project or running a campaign, it's going to be going well. I know that he's communicating to the client when things need to be communicated, and I can, you know, be completely, you know, hands off in those cases. I and mean, like the the way that you communicate with the clients is really good. You know, you're you're super professional, quick. Derek, do you have anything to add on those items? Yeah. All right, so we just got back to the house. Absolutely crazy work day today, guys. And I don't know what the deal was at WeWork. I'd planned on filming all sorts of B-roll and making it really cool, but there was like some new company with just a bunch of really young dudes who were super loud. It is what it is, but very productive day. Really proud of just where the agency's at right now. Adam, who we spoke with today, was just really excited and ecstatic and super appreciative of being part of a company like our agency that you know values employees. Yeah, just jumping in the pool, which is full of leaves right now because the monsoon's blowing in. Yeah, hope you guys learned something. I'm trying to put as much value into these vlogs as I can. Let me know what questions you guys have in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, check out Grow School. It's a community that I run for people that are you know, looking to start online businesses or have existing agencies for everybody to network, collab, get to know each other would love to see you guys inside of there i'll link that in the description down below and in the pinned comment i'll link my social links for insta and twitter there as well just started tweeting and uh yeah it's kind of where i'm just dumping all my ideas in real time see you guys in there and see you in the next video